This week, we're going to cover one of the most well-known but misunderstood exercises. And for this week, we're going to go over push-ups. So let's get to it. So the nice thing about this exercise is it doesn't require equipment and it doesn't require a ton of technique. But what it does require is obviously upper body strength, but a lot of core strength as well. So whenever we set up for this exercise, we're going to lay ourselves out on the ground in a flat out position with our stomachs down. We want to put our hands where we feel the most comfortable, which is usually about shoulder width apart or a little bit wider and directly in level with the shoulders. Now, when you do this, if you don't want any shoulder pain and you want it to transfer to other things, you're going to tuck your elbows into the side as hard as you can, keeping your neck level with your body. You're going to keep your core tight as possible and then push up. And then once you reach the top, you're going to come all the way back down. You can either go to the elbows about 90 degrees. Personally, for it to transfer over to other exercises, I like coming all the way down to the ground and then coming back up again. So when I said this is the most, uh, one of the most misunderstood exercises, a lot of people do relate it to upper body strength, which it totally is. But where they misunderstand is it's a lot of core strength as well. So different testing modalities such as the FMS use this as a way to see how you are able to stabilize your trunk. So you'll see a lot of people that have a weak core will push their upper body first and then their hips come up later. That is usually because of a weakness in the core. Now, a lot of times some people will be like, well, I didn't know that's what you're supposed to do. Well, here's the thing. Tell yourself or tell the person you're working with to keep their core as tight as possible. And chances are they're probably still not going to be able to do it because their core isn't strong enough to do the movement. So if you do have a strong enough core, you can obviously do a lot of reps and just keep your body unified while doing this movement the entire time. Now, if you want to make it easier, I simply go from my knees and pick my feet up off the ground so that way there isn't as much weight uh, come, being loaded onto the shoulders and whatnot in this movement. Now, if you want to make it more difficult, there's a few ways you can do this. So uh, the ACFT has moved to a hand release push up, push up for a couple of reasons. One, it's very clear on what the defined rep is for a push up. So when you come back down, you pick up your hands, then push them back into the ground, push up. This also makes it harder because you don't have that constant tension in your muscles. You have to release and then push back up, okay? And then another thing you can do to make this a lot more challenging is place your hands further away from you. So if you can see here, I'm trying to push my hands as far away from me as possible and push up. Now it's not as much as an arm exercise at that point, but it is a lot more of that core strength we were talking about. Now, if you have wrist pain and you have trouble bringing your hand back in a normal uh, push up on the ground, you can easily use dumbbells or handles to give yourself a little bit of lift off the ground and then straighten out your wrist. So that way it's more like a bench press. So I hope you guys enjoy this version of Thorough Thursday. Please visit the website agogiperformance.com for any more uh, content or any coaching you may need.